<laughs> hey. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. There you are. Hello. Oh. You want to know how I got into your house? We can talk about that later. But let's talk about you for a second. How has your night been? <laughs> Oh, my night. Well, I'm glad you asked. My night has been eventful. More to say. Who am I? Well, you should know. After all, you were one of the kids that bullied me all my life during school. Outside of school, chased me home, punched me, pushed me over when I'm riding my bike. All that type of nonsense. But I look different because I changed myself. You see, my mom told me I didn't look as happy as I did as a kid. Notice I got a few mood changes. My father didn't like that at all either. In short, I went to my bathroom, got the nearest kitchen knife I could grab, and I cut a smile into my face, a permanent smile. I am now permanently happy, and nothing can take this grin off of my face. <laughs> Isn't that great? But then, I would be awfully tired of smiling all the time, seeing myself in the mirror, staring at myself. So, I burned off my eyelids so I can never sleep again. So I can permanently look at myself in the mirror, constantly knowing that I'm always happy. <sighs> I showed my mama what my smile looks like. Permanent. She didn't like it. So she went to her asshole of a boyfriend who I called my stepfather. I overheard their conversation. She called me a psycho. She called her own son a psychopath. Called me insane. She told that asshole to grab his gun, aim it at my head, and shoot me where I stand. <laughs> you know what I did to them? You know what I want? You know what I did? Huh? I gutted them like pigs. I murdered all of them. My mother, that dickhead of a boyfriend. I murdered them. And then, I couldn't control myself. I had a bloodthirst that night. So I decided to break into houses. And you know what I did? <laughs> I lured them. I lured them away. And then after what I did, 
Well, I left a pretty picture on their walls. Well, not more of a picture, more of a message, really. Do you want to know? Do you want to know what that message was? Be quiet. 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 Be quiet. We don't want the neighbors hearing your screams now. <laughs> so, the message I left for them, or well, the police, per se, I left a message. You want to know what the message was? You want to know what the message was? Hmm? The message I left them was go to sleep. <laughs> you see, I said that message because, well, the people I murdered gutted like pigs, had their blood all over that wall so I can write that beautiful message on there. It was all just for my own pleasure of some sort. Uh, I kept doing it. They couldn't catch me. And well, since I'm right here in front of you, and you're on this bed, scared shitless, because I'm here. I decided, hmm, why don't I take a visit down memory lane? And it would be dangerous, I know that. But it'd be worth it to see all my old friends. I started off with my old friends. You know them. They live right down the street from you. Mostly adults around 18, 19. Around our age now. Mm-hmm. I slit all their throats, slowly. And I had a mirror with me as well. I lured them to their bathrooms, and then I jumped and attacked and made them watch as the blood run down their throats when I slit them. And then, afterwards, I cut a smile in their faces, so they look just like me. And now, they're permanently happy. Forever. But now, I'm going to do the same to you. But I'm not gonna bring you to the bathroom. No, you're already in a bed. Perfect opportunity to lay you down. Run my knife across your skin. Not even softly. No, 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 no. I'm going to make sure you feel every single bit of pain that you put through me. All those years ago, you want to bully me? <laughs> you wanted to bully me back then. You want to bully me now? Call me a psycho. Does it look like I give a two shits anymore? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Funny man. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, do you know I like it when I call you a funny man? What does it give you some sort of gender misphoria? Rather call you a female? Hmm? Wanna be called a little B? 
bitch. Like you are. Or maybe you don't identify as either. Like a damn Ken doll down there. Confused about your own gender. No wonder you failed at life. You're worthless. You don't deserve to live anymore. Now, do you remember that little catchphrase I wrote on the walls? Come on. Come on. Say it to me. Come on. Say it to me. I'm waiting. Oh, I want to hear you say it. Say it. Fine. I'll say it for you. Go to sleep. Ha, 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 ha.